In this video, you will learn how to produce recombinant proteins using the XP293 expression system. As always, use good cell culture practices and wear your personal protective equipment. Be sure to clean your cell culture hood and work surface by spraying and wiping them down with 70% alcohol. In order to maximize the expression of the XP293F cells, it's important to maintain high cell viability and a robust cell culture. During all cell manipulations, mix the cells by gentle swirling. Avoid vigorous mixing or pipetting, which can reduce protein expression performance. Ensure shaker settings are set to 125 RPM to provide appropriate cell mixing. Cell culture incubators should be set at 37 degrees Celsius with a humidified atmosphere of 8% carbon dioxide for routine cell culture maintenance. Cell health is critical to maximal performance. On the day prior to transfection, determine XP293F cell density and viability. Subculture the XP293F cells to a final density of 2.5 to 3 million viable cells per milliliter and allow the cells to grow overnight. On the day of transfection, re-examine XP293F cell density and viability. The cells should reach a density of 5 to 6 million viable cells per milliliter and viability should be 95 to 99 percent to proceed with transfection. Dilute the cells to a final density of 3 million viable cells per milliliter with fresh XP293 expression medium pre-warmed to 37 degrees Celsius with a volume of 25 milliliters in triplicate 125 milliliter shake flasks. Swirl flasks gently to mix the cells. Discard any remaining high density cells. Do not reuse for routine subculturing. For this expression run, you will need Expefectamine 293 Transfection Kit OptiMem Reduced Serum Medium Positive Control DNA at 1 microgram per microliter stock concentration 2 50 milliliter conical tubes in a rack A P200 and P1000 pipette and appropriate tips a pipette aid device and appropriate serological pipettes, a marker and a timer, and three 125 milliliter shake flasks with XP293F cells at a density of 3 million viable cells per milliliter in a 25 milliliter volume. We will be following the 125 milliliter flask format of the XP293 expression system transfection protocol. Prepare expefectamine 293 and plasmid DNA complexes using cold reagents. It is not necessary to pre-warm all reagents. At all culture scales, you will need 2.7 microliters of expefectamine 293 and 1 microgram of plasmid DNA per milliliter of culture final volume, in this case 30 milliliters. For triplicate 125 milliliter flasks, You'll need 9 milliliters of expefectamine 293 and plasmid DNA complexes, 3 milliliters for each flask. You can easily scale the protocol for other size flasks by following the Scaling Up or Down Transfections table in the protocol. Label one 50 milliliter conical tube as 1 DNA and another as 2 expefectamine. Add 4.5 milliliters of OptiMem reduced serum medium to each 50 milliliter conical tube. Add 90 microliters of plasmid DNA to tube 1 and mix well by swirling. Do not vortex or pipette vigorously. Gently invert the expefectamine 293 reagent 4 to 5 times to mix thoroughly. Add 240 microliters of expefectamine 293 reagent to tube 2 and mix well by swirling. Incubate at room temperature for 5 minutes. Add the diluted expefectamine 293 reagent to diluted DNA. Mix immediately by swirling the tube. 
incubate expefectamine 293 and plasmid DNA complexes at room temperature for 10 to 20 minutes. Then slowly transfer 3 milliliters of the solution to each flask, swirling gently during addition. Incubate the cells at 37 degrees Celsius with 8% carbon dioxide and shaking. On the day after transfection, add expefectamine 293 enhancer 1 and 2. It is not necessary to pre-warm before addition to the flasks. Add 150 microliters of expefectamine 293 enhancer 1 and 1.5 milliliters of expefectamine 293 enhancer 2 to each 125 milliliter flask, gently swirling the flask during addition. Transfer flasks back to a 37 degree Celsius incubator with 8% carbon dioxide and shaking. Optimal time to harvest protein will depend on the specific properties of the protein being expressed. Typical harvest times to reach maximum titers is 5 to 7 days post-transfection.